Hey everybody, today we're going to do this challenge that we got tagged in by our friend Dwayne over at Blackboard Gaming Channel, yep. which is a really cool channel. You should check that out if you've never watched it. Anyway, he came up with this challenge called the Handheld Challenge, okay? Where you have to try to fit, I mean, I guess as many games as you can in one hand, and they have to be like good games too, like games you'd recommend to people, or like games you'd bring to a... Uh, like a game night or something like that, right? Not, games. This is it, the point. Isn't isn't just to g stack a bunch of games in your hand. Yeah, we could, still got to be good games. Yeah, we could. I'm, yeah, we. I could grab a box of button shy and like stack like twenty of them in, in my hand probably. Yeah. But I'm not. We're not doing that. So the idea is, yeah, we got to find like a, as many good games we can fit in one hand, and then uh, yeah, and, and see how, and see what we can find. Um, so we didn't give this a ton of thought. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our shelves, find them. And we'll come back here and talk about it. Yep. So, let's go. All right, everybody. Uh, we scoured our shelves. Uh, scoured. And, um, <laughs> yeah. And I think we uh, each got five, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, just barely. Uh, yeah, mine's, mine's stretching my hand limit for sure. But I don't. I did it. Yeah. So I don't know if I can pick this back no, up. I, well, I, def I definitely got mine right there. Boom. Ow. All right. So um, I want me to talk about the games I picked first. Sure. Okay. So the first one I chose was Peep Mots, right? Which is a little card game about like feeding birds and not trying to feed the squirrels or the crows. So, um, yeah, you're playing cards to, like, feed birds in the feeder, like playing seed cards. Uh, actually playing bird cards to get seed cards, which is the point cards. Um, this is a, a super fun little game. Um, it's an interesting game, not one everybody's probably heard of um, or seen or played. Um, but, yeah, this, this is a great one that uh, I, I like a lot. All right. um, and then the next one I chose was Welcome To, which, you know, I only picked one roll and ride. Yeah, just one roll and ride. And this one can play, you know, unlimited amounts of people, right? Infinity. Classic. Infinity. Infinity, as long as you have the number of, uh, you know, sheets, right? And people. Well, I, I don't think we'll ever have a game night where there's infinity number of people. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think I, we have to worry about that. But anyway, yeah, welcome to, uh, I think everybody knows about this game, right? Yeah. Um, you're just, you're flipping over, like, number and uh, cards, and you're filling in your neighborhood. And, uh, yeah, trying to get the most points based on, like, whatever the scoring is at the time and other scoring conditions. Welcome to Classic Rolling Right. Mm -hmm. um, the next one I chose was Rainforest City. Um, some say this is better than Cascadia. I don't know, because I've never played Cascadia. But I believe it's similar, where... Where you're like, but you're drafting cards, and then putting like the animals, like tr trying to create like an ecosystem. Well, it's tiles. It's like a tile puzzle game. Yeah, but they're still cards, though, aren't they? Yeah. Well, no, because you got so here's. But they're the, terrain cards. You no, you got these terrain tiles, and then you got these, and then you got these animal tokens that you have to put on the tiles. But they need different. They need different. Um, they need it, it needs to be like a functioning ecosystem. Yeah, you need it. They need. Di they all they're, have. They are totally cards. Yeah, okay. but um, they they all have different um. Landscapes, like landscape types. Yes, and then but they all have different needs. So like, so like number one, you're gonna have this um. So like everything has a different like type of um, like like uh land, I guess like. Land, right, right, but right, yes. But the biggest thing is like it has to be a functioning e ecosystem where there's yes, like so a like, plant, so and then like a bug plant. that eats the plant, and then like a like a animal that eats a the predator. The predator you got the prey the that eats bug. the plant, and then the predator that eats the prey. Right, and the pre predator scores the most points. <laughs> right. Anyway, so yeah, so it has this interesting drafting system here where like you rotate this and and whoever like is this symbol takes that card. So anyway, that's Rainforest City. It's probably not also another game it came from Singapore that not many people have heard of. Yep. And uh yeah, that that one fits in my hand. I should probably put the box back on. Um, uh, yeah, whatever. And then the next one I picked was Starving Artists, which is like a paint by they call it a paint by cube game, right? Where you are um like drafting like cubes Putting them like like in like paint cubes and then putting them onto paints to paint the paintings. Yeah. It's called Starving Artists because you also you need to like not starve to death. So uh, this is a really yeah. fun and like unique type of game. It uses there's a ton of cards because it uses like public domain art, like if classic you, if art. If you starve to death, you're out. You started to get yeah. If you starve to death, you're out, and that triggers the end of the game. 
Yes. Um, which doesn't happen that often. You can usually hang on by a thread and, and you know, and get some paintings done to and get then, food. And then normally, um, at the end, uh, and then normally someone will pre surpass the goal. Right, which is, yeah, so many cards or so many paintings or whatever. But yeah, this is a super fun game. Also a super unique game that, you know, yeah, we, we like to play and like to show people, right? Yeah. And the last one I picked was this thin little box here, which is Owl About. Yeah, which is... he, he really didn't have much face left in his hand. Listen, I did what I did. <laughs> so look, yeah, this look, is. A... I, I made some other decisions that are even thinner. <laughs> All right, well we'll get to those in a minute. This is a trick-taking game that probably no one's ever played, where you're you're playing these owls, but you don't want to win the trick. You want yeah. to basically come in second. They're they're we're lazy. Because yeah, the, the owls are lazy, so they don't want to be like the new leader of the owl yeah, tribe. Yeah, you don't want to be the chief. You want to come in second. So, you and want then to be, some... like, respectable, but you don't want to be the one in charge <laughs> yeah. and doing the work. Right. So, anyway, yeah, there's, like, some power, like some owl powers, and it's, it's, it's an interesting trick-taking game that I, probably not one, no one has ever heard of. So. But it's really fun. Super fun. Yeah. All right, so, Grayson. Hope my we'll... pick is, well, I, I can lift it. I can get it barely just. One hand. Barely in my hand. All right, you did it. All right, what do you got there but, for us? So first up, this is the first game I picked was Our Ego. And in this game, you have to recycle cards to get, like, um... Well, you recycle trash. Yeah, that, recycle yeah. trash cards. Yeah. And then Literal get, and cards then, with trash on them. Yeah, and then you'll get more trash cards. Mm hmm But when you recycle those trash cards, you get points. Yes. And, but you, you don't want to go over five trash cards in your hand. Or else you get negative, negative points. points. Yeah. So that that this is a really clever, uh, quick little game that's a yes. lot of fun. What else you got? Silver and gold. So second, technically, second, that's a second game I picked. A uh, rolling right, right? Rolling. Flipping right. A, a rolling. Um. Yeah. 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 Sure. What, so what's that silver one? Silver and gold is you gotta draw. You gotta use like the um like the shapes you get like from the tiles mm -hmm. to draw out your little um like island to get all the treasure yeah. on it. And yep. then and then you get new cards for Yep. That game's a lot of fun too. And the next one I picked was Durian Dash. Another game from Singapore actually, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got like a bunch in a row and this was part of the, the, the Yeah, same field. shipment I believe, yeah. Yep. And so Dur and Durian Dash. You like only certain dur durians. Like, so you're going to score bonus points for durians and negative points for durians. Also, there's, like, rotting ones, too. Yes, yeah, so you got, you don't want those <laughs> evil durians, either. I mean, some people might say all durians are evil because it tastes so weird. No, I heard that, actually, durians taste really sweet, but they just smell really bad. Oh, so it's, like, the smell. Okay, okay. I've never had one, that's for sure. I, I, that's what I've heard, is that they smell really bad, but they taste really good. <laughs> so Such a strange food. Such a strange food to make a game about. But it's a right, fun I, game, because... Yeah. You, you're you're choosing different markets to go to, and then and then you gotta because it, it's whoever plays the lowest card goes first, right? And then because it's a cer you move like your cer certain like truck or whatever like across the line, and whatever you land on, you get it. Yeah. And if you get if you get stolen from you, then wheat worms. Well, right, because you can play a lower card, and the other person gets stuck with something they don't want, yes. even though they plan to get something better. Yeah, that that's a super fun game too. Yep. My next pick is archaeology. Which is a fun, simple card game, where either you're gonna dig for tre you're, you're gonna dig for treasure. Every time, yeah, every round. Yeah. Pull and a card. And you're gonna sell to the museum. You want to collect sets of cards, but there's deadly sandstorms that will get rid of those cards, and and thieves that where you can steal from other players. Right, you're trying to get as many in the set as you possibly can yes. before you lose them. Yeah. And there's a market where you can sell some of your cards, not to the museum. But like like trading cards for different cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's really simple. And there's also maps that come into place for, and it's different for each type of variation you play. But um, yeah. Then the maps can get you also cards from like a special area. Yeah, like a like a tomb or a pyramid or whatever, yeah. like stuff like that. Yeah, that's a super fun game too. Yep. What else you got? Last My one. My last one is stew. Yes, it's. Even yeah, thinner. cheated a little bit here with the button shy game. But, but like, my hand is small. <laughs> well, you're only 12 years old. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right. 
What's stew about? So stew is a game about making a stew. Yeah. Wow, I I, like, I, I would I would never have guessed. You're collectively making a stew, right? Yes. Where everybody has to throw stuff in, right? But you still want your stew. It's still competitive. Yes, correct. So you got to make the stew with weird stuff. Right. Well, you're throwing stuff in the pot, including the mutant. That might be a. Uh, a uh, promo? It might, might be. But anyway, yeah, everybody's throwing stuff in there, but then there's also, like, a, animals all the way around that, that want to eat yes. stuff. So, this um, right, because you go around throwing stuff in, and then somebody has to say, has to call it, right? And they have to get above us, and, it, like, you call stew, and then it has to have a certain amount of points in it at yes. that t at point. So, but you don't know what everybody else has thrown in. But you can see, like, what other people have fed the animals, and right? And sometimes, and then, see, like... This so this gopher eats eats a leak before that well right before that happens. Right. So if you don't feed him ahead of time, he'll eat one out of the soup. Right. Is that what happens? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's a super fun game. That's fun to play with. Like uh, we played a four player quite a bit. Um, and there's some actual. This guys. Some guys have the point. Have points for them actually. Yeah. So like yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Put, put those back in there. Um, so those are, uh, yeah, those are our picks yep. for the handheld challenge. Thanks again, Dwayne, for, uh, creating the challenge. for creating this challenge and tagging us in it. Yes. Um, I guess we're supposed to tag other people in it. Um, let's see here. Who could we tag? Um, I don't know. Who else hasn't been tagged? Who hasn't done it? I think, I think Boxed Meeples got already tagged. I could tag my friend Nathan because he does, he's been doing a lot of videos lately and you should check his channel out too if you haven't. Mm. Um... Hmm. I don't know. If you want to do the challenge, do it. We're t you're tagged, so put them all in your hand one more time. Look at this. Yep. Handheld challenge. Completed. I fit all five of these games in my hand. Oh, for. <laughs> okay. Well, that was that made a mess of that one, but. Yup. Tan child challenge. Turn like this so you can show, see that they have them all in there. Absolutely no card spilled. <laughs> All right. Well, again, thanks again, Dwayne, for tagging us in this. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> Ready? Wait a minute. Let me change my shirt. Let's go with the best shirt. We're just putting it on inside out. Yup.